find out about the history of top K-pop artists or groups. And then more about their hit songs and the stories related to them. So get ready for a wonderful music journey with me, Lim. And me, Tasha, on... Born to Rock the Mic! Hi, Tasha! Hi, Lim! So you know how some K-pop stars have been mm -hmm. friends since their school days, aspiring to become singers together, right? And yeah. do you know who some of these stars are? Mm, I actually heard that Dio of XO and Hyunjik of B2B were actually from the same high school and they received you know, vocal and dance training together as well. Right. Mm -hmm. And I also heard that Pio of Block B and Song Mino of the rookie, rookie Group winner are best friends from high school as well. Oh, and I just remembered, Hwan Hee, Hui Song and Park Hyo Shin, who are all known for their distinct vocal styles, were also from the same high school. Wow, I can't believe the three of them were, went to the same school because yes. they're all such amazing singers. Yeah, and I also heard that they all dreamed of becoming singers together and they motivated each other back then. And today we'll be focusing on one of these great singers, right? That's right. So let's take a look at who we'll be focusing on today. <laughs> it's none other than Hee Song, a vocalist who's known for his powerful yet expressive vocals that show his sensitivity as an artist. He's one of my favorite singers. I love his voice. It's so soulful, don't you think? Yes, me too. Mm -hmm. And you're so right. And the songs he released about 10 years ago caught people's attention once again, right? Right. He appeared on a TV program where the guests imitated other singers. And after his appearance, his songs topped various digital music charts. And that just goes to show you that his songs are truly timeless. Yes, indeed. He has had numerous hit songs that have become classics. So let's take a look at his past albums that delighted everyone's ears, starting with the first one. Hui Song made his debut in April 2002 with the song Is It Not Possible? This song highlighted his outstanding singing skills and his charming voice, and it captivated the audience instantly. Yeah, it was such a sad song, and it was about a guy whose crush loved someone else. And this song topped the chart. It did, right? <laughs> right, he ranks number one on a music program with Is It Not Possible and his follow-up song, Untold Story, also received a lot of love. And needless to say, he swept all the Rookie of the Year awards at the end of the year 2002. Yes, yeah, so don't just assume that he gained immediate success after his debut because he actually faced many years of obscurity before this. Right, he was actually in a four-member group called A4 back in 2000 before his solo debut. And what surprised me the most was that he was actually a back dancer for, for about two and a half years. Well, that is so surprising. And I, because he's such a great R&B singer, it's really hard to imagine that he right. was a backup singer, uh, mm -hmm. dancer before. Mm -hmm. And you know, his childhood dream was actually to be the world's top dancer. Can you believe that? Well, Lim, what was your childhood dream? Uh, mm, I always wanted to be a singer, so I guess wow. <laughs> it came cool. true. How, how about you? Uh, my first dream was also to become a singer, but it changed, you know, as, as I grew up. So. Mm. I mean, Dreams just always changes, change, right? So, it's know. great I, to, you know, my dream came true. Yeah, <laughs> but I also had a lot of dreams when I was younger. Like, I wanted to be a teacher and so right. many, so many more, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think every, every little girl wants, wants to be a teacher, to, yeah. right? Anyways, Hui <laughs> Sang may not have listed his childhood dream, but he did make a successful transition into a singer. You know, it's rare for a singer's debut song to become such a huge hit, right? And it's the song, Is It Not Possible, that got Hui Sang to where he is today. So this is quite a meaningful song for him. And I heard that you're going to sing this beautiful song for us today. Yes, I hope you like it. Oh, you made it sound so sweet. Thank you. I love the song, even though it's so mm. emotional and sad. Anyways, getting back on track, Hui Sang received an explosive response with his first album, and his popularity continued to soar with his second album. He returned to stage with an upbeat R&B dance song titled With Me, and he showed off his incredible dance skills too. 
It must have been a dream come true for him to be able to sing and dance at the same time. And oh yeah, there's an actress who actually made her debut in this through this music video. That's right, it's none other than the top actress Han Ye Su, who's loved for her doll-like beauty. So if you're wondering what she looked like 10 years ago, then you should definitely check out the music video. Mm -hmm. And after ranking number one on a music program with the song With Me, Lee Song did it again with his follow-up song, The Day We Met Again, right? Right, it told a story about meeting one's ex again, and this song was actually used as a background music for the hit drama Reply 1997, and it received a lot of love again in 2012. Hui Song topped the charts every time he released a new song, but it wasn't until his third album that his popularity soared to the top and began to be regarded as one of the top singers on the K-pop scene. Right, the title track of his third album titled Terminal Disease had a very interesting intro that started off with Master U's rap, and it ranked number one for five consecutive weeks. Hui Song had numerous hits from his first, second and third album and he gained a nickname because of the common theme of his songs. Right, he was actually called the singer specializing in songs about unrequited love. Right, about 90% of K-pop songs are about love and separation and Hui Song's songs were more specifically about guys whose love was never returned. Right, but maybe he wanted to avoid this nickname because he came back with a sweet upbeat love song from his fifth album. Right, it was Love is Sweet, which was the title track of his fifth album released in 2007. This was his first studio album after transferring to a different agency and he made a complete transformation music musically. Right, he was the one who wrote the lyrics to the song and he actually written a few songs back then, but it was until his fifth album that he was recognized as a singer-songwriter. He actually wrote quite a, quite a few songs for other singers that made a great hit, right? Right, he wrote many dance songs about women who were very direct. For instance, Ivy's Seductive Sonata and Cupido, Orange Caramel's Magic Girl and Aying, Tiara's I Go Crazy Because of You and Gina's Top Girl and Lee Hyori's Hey Mr. Big. He also wrote the lyrics to heart-wrenching ballad songs as well, like Gina's Whatever Enjoy Your Life, Lin's Parting Life and Young Pus It Hurts and Ailey's Heaven. Oh, and you know what I just noticed? He wrote mostly to you know, female singers. Yeah, I wonder how you understand women so so well. Well, I think it's because he's very sensitive and in tune to not only his emotions but also people around him. Right. And I heard that you'll be dancing to one of the songs that he that was written by Hui Song, right? Right. So I'm gonna show you the dance moves to Tiara's I Go Crazy Because of You. Tasha, you look lovely just as usual. Thank you. Right, well, Hui Sang, who's established himself as a singer-songwriter in the K-pop industry, touched people's hearts with his emotional songs. And he was chosen to take part in a very special project, right? Right, um, Craig David, as you all know, is an English singer-songwriter and he was searching for an Asian artist to sing his hit song, Insomnia, and he specially picked Hui Sang to sing it. The song was rearranged with a more danceable tune, and Hui Sang actually wrote the lyrics to the music himself. <laughs> Anyways, Hui Sang had a number of hits after Insomnia, like Even Thought of Marriage, Heart Aching Story, and The Guys Are Coming. After securing his place as one of the top vocalists, he had to part with his fans for a while. Right, in November 2011, he decided to fulfill his duty to his country by enlisting in the military. And it became a hot issue for doing an outstanding job as an assistant instructor at the training camp. Right, Hui Sang was discharged in August last year and returned to stage in November with a sweet winter song with Call Me. Hui Sang and Call Me collaborated on a love song titled Special Love and these two iconic artists presented a fantastic harmony that delighted people's ears. It's common knowledge that Hui Sang and Call Me were actually in a romantic relationship in the beginning of his career and I'm so glad that they're still friends and musical partners.
Yeah, me too. And these two actually held a concert together recently, and I hope they continue to show great chemistry on stage for more years to come. Hui Sang is such an amazing vocalist, so it really surprised me to learn that he actually has a vocal trainer. And it just goes to show you how hardworking and humble he is, and that's very admirable. And I'm sure many of our K-pop fans are praying for Hui Sang to release a new album, and I hope your prayers get answered very soon. So why don't we delight the fans of Hui Sang by taking a look at one of his music videos? Sure, here's Hui Sang's heart aching story featuring Yong Jun Hyang of Beast. So here, here we go. go. 이제 그만하자. 그냥 좋은 사람 만나. 난 여기까지다. <목소리> 세상에 가장 예쁜 거짓말 goodbye goodbye. 가슴 찢겨도 뱉는 그말 goodbye goodbye. 좋은 안녕이란 말 말도 안 되는 그 말. 너의 체온도 goodbye goodbye 나만 맞추던 너의 입술도 goodbye goodbye 너무 절망스러워 그래도 널 위해서 남자로서 꼭 해야 하는 말 goodbye goodbye 마지막으로 너를 힘껏 담고서 goodbye goodbye 드러난 테이프처럼 무겁게 더듬대면 행복해 goodbye Yeah, 사랑 앞에 우린 죄인이야 이제 마파보야 